What is up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Coin New Sessions with Jolo and this is episode number 19. And happy Monday guys! It's a new day, new work week. For us to start anew. Okay guys, so before we proceed with the word of the day, I know that you've already seen the title of our podcast episode. We will be talking about the word anxiety. So before we start, I would like to check and I would like to know with with, uh, with you guys. Have you ever experienced anxiety? Or at least once in your life, naging anxious na ba kayo about something or anything? Because if you do, probably this podcast episode is for you. Okay, so join me as we discuss this new podcast episode and let's talk about anxiety. Okay, so I know that you've already experienced anxiety at least once in your life and it's very normal and and everyone can can attest to this na kahit kausapin natin yung mga crush natin or uh, maging, uh, mag- magkaroon lang ng chance na tawagin ka, tawagin ka ng professor mo mag-recite, di ba kinakabahan ka, you become anxious na hindi ka prepared for something na you might say or like you 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 feel anxious if nage exam ba you have this feeling o kaya if you have this important decision in your life na maapektuhan yung buhay mo or with any decisions you'll feel anxious right and and that I mean dapat you consider and Ako, personally, with this podcast episode, with our title na Anxiety, it's very difficult for me <laughs> to share or to to talk about it. I don't know why. Because um, kahit ako, I experience this once in a while. I feel like um, hindi, hindi credible yung sasabihin ko or walang sense. Diba? So, Sometimes yung passion ko it it also leads to my anxiety because of course if you have a certain passion like this or with whatever you're doing your hobby or anong, if you're playing basketball like that diba if you're passion if you're passionate of something you'll do your best you'll try to to give your excellence your 100% and ako I've been encountering or just, just to be honest this is like my, I don't know how many takes this is already. Nakailang restart na ako and everything. And I really don't know what to say. And I really don't know how am I gonna talk about anxiety. And at first, I was really in denial if na experience na ba ako ng anxiety. And I am not fully aware until I created or I, I tried to make a podcast about anxiety. And it's very difficult. <laughs> because uh, anyway, um, it's something na mabigat and it's something na I'm not really sure of if nice ba siyang pag-usapan. But because of the word anxiety, I would like to coin this word. But before of begin natin ng magandang intro yung ating word of the day. And the word of the day is Anxiety. Ayan, anxiety. And yeah, given if uulit ulitin mo siya, if we will coin the word anxiety, it can lead into ang saya te. Right? So ang saya te. Like, um, this is happy girl. Like that in English. 
Pero yeah, um, you can turn your anxiety into anxiety. How? Or Jolo, paano mo na overcome yung anxiety mo? Okay, so for me, ah, um, I've read some stuff na how to manage your anxiety or how to control your anxiety like that. And there are different ways na na pwede mong gawin. And ako for me, I can I can really um provide or give an advice if hindi siya magiging applicable sa akin, di ba? That's why I'm gonna share with you guys yung mga stuff na ginawa ko para ma-overcome ko itong anxiety na na-feel ko towards the pressure. Siyempre, may mga mas magagaling na podcaster sa akin and I have my inspirations and I tend to compare myself to them and I became curious of what my friends might comment or what other people would say. Diba? These things could give me I know it. Eh, so many thoughts running into my mind and mahirap siya. It will lead into a very serious anxiety if hindi siya napigilan. And I would just like to share at least three or four um tips that I did on my own kung paano ko na-overcome itong anxiety na, na, na experience ko. Or it can also um help you or give you an idea or at least a light on how you can turn your anxiety to anxiety. Right? Okay, so the number one that I did uh, when I felt uh, or I'm having difficulty um, of trying to think of an episode or a topic for a podcast, especially with this podcast, um, is to surrender and to accept. Because um, you have to acknowledge na, okay, I'm having a difficulty. I'm, I'm having a difficult time doing this. And you have to accept it. Na, you're not perfect. You, can, you cannot do anything. I mean, you, can, you cannot, I mean, you cannot do things agad-agad or hindi mo siya magagawa lahat at the same time. Diba? So, you have to surrender na parang ako, I I took a step back. Parang, okay, wait lang. Kasi, ano kay, on a roll kay, sige, podcast tayo, go tayo, go tayo. Pero, this episode taught me something eh. So, it, it taught me to surrender. And if nahihirapan ka na talaga and hindi mo na kaya, step back. Diba? And accept it. Accept it. Mahirap siya eh, na parang may tiwala ka sa sarili mo eh, na you can do this eh. I know that I can do this. Pero bakit hindi ko ma-deliver? Bakit hindi enough yung ginagawa ko? And bakit pag papakinggan ko yung yung records na sinasabi ko, parang may mali. ba diba? And those are just signs of um, anxiety na ina-anticipate mo na there's gonna be something wrong. And nagkakaroon ka ng tendency na um sinisenter mo yung i mean nagiging ano ka um nagiging sinisenter mo yung opinion ng ibang tao and it will really give you a difficult time kasi kung iisipin mo ibang tao wala na di ba so you have to also um do something for yourself so step back ka muna hinga di ba chill ka muna to surrender and accept. And accept na hindi mo kaya. And then, after that, or na, accept na hindi mo kaya na kailangan mong mag-wait. Diba? So, number two that I wrote here is to talk, talk about it. So, if nahihirapan ka and you're feeling anxious about it, if hindi mo na talaga kaya, you look for someone na you can really trust. And look for someone na who can help you with. Diba? And for me, uh, when I had this experience, you know, na experience ko to, and hirap na hirap na talaga ako, na I have this feeling na I almost give up, na parang, tama ba tong ginagawa ko? Diba? So, I, I tried to talk to my girlfriend. So, I talked to Dance about it. 
and I just told her what I'm feeling. I told her na I'm 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 feeling nervous. I'm feeling pressured. Na pi pressure ko yung sarili ko. I'm I I feel pressured sa mga oh, sabihin na ibang tao if mabasa ko ganyan because anxiety to eh and daming it's it's kind of big eh. it's a big word eh. right and wala I'm, i i i just opened the, opened it up to her na baka may mali may mali akong masabi ganyan and nahirapan ako and she just told me na maybe ito na yung experience mo ang side So yeah, na ko kanina, medyo denial ako earlier na experience ko siya. So so since siguro in denial ako, God tried to give me an experience. Now sige, nahihirapan ko to experience mo 'yan. 'Di ba? And it's kind of cute somehow na if you look at it na God will really help you in things na hindi mo kaya. 'Di ba? It, it it's it's hard to understand yet. Pero like If hindi mo pa if if hindi mo pa experience yung isang bagay God will allow you to experience it para ma-share mo yung experience mo sa iba right because para hindi ka magiging credible or hindi magiging believable yung mga sasabihin mo if you haven't experienced it firsthand di ba Parang ako, magbibigay ako ng marriage tips. Pero hindi naman ako married. Right? So, that's one thing. You try to talk talk to other people na you trust. So, dance made me realize that. Na, oh, maybe this is the experience that I can share right now. ba diba? Like, I can talk about anxiety itself, the process that I've been through. and the strategy that I, that I made. Diba? So, that's number two. After I surrendered and I tried to accept na, ah, nahihirapan ako, hindi ko kaya to. So, I just talked to her, shared her my experience and my thoughts about it, my feelings. You, I opened up to her. And the next thing that you should do is to, you have to choose to move beyond it. That's the exact words that she said, actually. She said that, the diba, you choose naman to move beyond it. And it, it, it somehow made an impact because I'm, I know that I'm that person na I don't give up easily. Diba? So, uh, if I'm feeling pressured, if na, nagigi, na anxious ako with what's happening right now, and, hindi ko sure kung ano yung nararamdaman ko at nahihirapan ako with this episode. I surrendered, I talked to her, and naniwala ako na I can still do this. And she told me na I can do this. And I believed her. Well, we can make it, to, we can make it, diba? And after that, Ang sayate. Eh. Diba? That feeling na you are more confident with your previous records, with your previous episodes, the things that you were saying. Parang medyo, what? But right now, I am more confident na, yeah, these are the things that you should really do. Na, I did and it helped me. Right? So, those are just some few things. Like, you have to surrender and accept na you can't do it at once. You have to step back and analyze things. And next would be, you have to talk to someone that you really trust and you know who can help you. And number three is, you have to choose to move beyond it. And, kailangan mo siyang i-overcome. With whatever anxiety you are experiencing right now. If nahirapan ka sa decisions mo, if meron kang pinagdadaanan, especially ngayong COVID and ngayong may pandemic, ang hirap-hirap ng buhay, just choose to move beyond it. It's your decision. It's your decision if you will give up. 
it's your decision if you will still move on and make it better. Diba? And you will experience the happiness. Ang sayete. Diba? That's why you can turn your anxiety to ang sayete. Right? So if you agree with me, I have this um verse from the Bible. It's Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7. But overall, it just says that do not be anxious about anything. Yun lang. Um, God says that do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, present your request to God. And yeah, that's what actually I did. Before I started recording, I just prayed to him and I just told him na nahihirapan ako and I'm having a difficult time creating this podcast about anxiety. And I just told him na siya na yung bahalang gumalaw and I just surrendered this topic to him. And yeah, that's it. And we're about to be done. And I just can't believe it na <laughs> patapos na siya. So with that, I think um, it's just very short and more of, I just want to share my experience with you. Of course, there are struggles being a podcaster as well, thinking of the things that you have to say and of course, helping or sharing the things that you know or the things that you have experienced to other people. It's, it's, and then it's, it's, what they call that, it's ibang usapan. Diba? So, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today's coin session. So, I'll catch you guys on the next podcast. Bye, guys!